Sistrin, it is week 10. Week 10 of contest prep. We got six weeks left until the contest. On November 1st, I'll be doing men's physique here in San Diego at the Scottish Rite Center. If you want to come, just send me a message. Let me know. Anyways, this week I lost a little bit more weight. I'm at 197 pounds, so I think that's a two pound uh, or maybe three pound weight loss. Basically, that happened just because my calories fluctuated for a few days there, so I lost a little bit of water weight as well as a little bit of actual weight. So I lost a little bit more poundage than I was expecting last week. But this is this is something you have to be mindful of, right? You're like, okay, I, I added or lost some water weight, so of course the, the scale is going to fluctuate more or less than just a pound. You have to be mindful of, of this kind of thing because water weight always throws people off of their fat loss goals. They always get so confused and, and the water weight that they're adding or subtracting through their diet fluctuating every day is, is greatly changing how they think their diet is working. But you have to realize that water does change a lot. Big news, this week I'm going to the Olympia as you guys know. So on Thursday I'm leaving at about 11 o'clock in the afternoon and I'm going to be working out at 7 o'clock at night. Now like I just said I'll be there Thursday but I'll also be there Friday and Saturday because of the expo. So I'll be there for three days. I have to figure out how I'm going to deal with the food situation and honestly I'll probably not be hitting the diet that I'm trying to hit. I'll probably be eating a little bit dirty. I'll probably even be getting under calories of what I should be getting. But it'll all be worth it because I want to see you guys. I want to meet you guys. I want to have fun with you guys. It'll be a lot of a lot of fun. But I just thought I would tell you guys that because next week's diet will be drastically different than the regular diet that we're going with. But for the first part of the week I will be doing what I've been doing which is about 2,900 calories um, and then Thursday, Friday, and Saturday I'll probably be eating as much as I could possibly get in but I'll probably be eating somewhere around 26 or 700 calories. Now as far as my strength is going, you know what? God, my hair is getting really long. God, it's like Goku. And I'm so hot. Let's go get a haircut, guys. Come on. We're going to go get a haircut. We'll continue this in the car. So I couldn't handle it. It was too hot. I felt like I was being tired and lethargic on camera because I was so hot. My hair is so long. You can see my fingers completely disappearing it. So this is before. And here we are after the cut. Ooh, baby, look at it. So fresh and so clean. Got them. Got them edges all edged up and whatnot, getting all short haired and whatnot. Now one of the things that I really wanted to make sure that I was talking about was my strength this week. It's been requested that I talk about this a lot in the comments. And um, my strength has actually started to suffer in the last few weeks. You know, for the first probably like seven or eight weeks, I didn't really feel that much strength loss, just a little bit, just the regular. But over these last two weeks, three weeks, I've really started to see my strength and my endurance go down. For example, when I was doing squats, I, uh, I felt like going really heavy. I felt like testing my strength. I went from 225 to 275, I think, and I went to 315, and I grinded out this double, which you're seeing right now, and it, it was definitely a grinder. You know, I've been able to hit 315 before for sets of like six or seven, very clean, very easy. I've even been able to hit 350 pounds for three or four reps before, but this 315 started to feel pretty heavy and for two reps, it was quite a grinder. So I'm telling, I can tell that my, my, um, my cutting is getting my strength to drop a little bit, but that, that comes with the game. That comes with what we're doing, you know, getting ready for a contest prep and whatnot. I'm not really too concerned, uh, but I am still doing lots of strength work to make sure that I'm at least touching my strength and trying to keep it up. But after this contest, after this cut, when I start bulking guys about eight to 12 weeks in, and hopefully I'll be off Accutane, my strength is going to go through the roof, which is gonna be so much fun to show off and for you guys to watch in these videos. It'll be really interesting. And I might even bring back PR Wednesdays. What do you guys think? Progress Wednesdays? And the last thing I wanna talk about in this episode is just the idea of the actual contest prep. Now I was reading up on different ideas for prepping. You know, some people do carb depletion, and some people do um, carb backloading and all sorts of different things. Uh, but I was looking at Lane Norton's ideals for contest prep and he says what you should do is you should get so lean to the point that you are just already lean enough for for your contest, for showing up on stage. Not almost lean enough to the point where you need to drop water to look crispy and nice, but lean enough that you already look great and you just keep doing what you've been doing. What Lane Norton's idea is, is that everything you've been doing, if it's working, then you stick with it and you make some minor adjustments. Like for example, uh, I would keep eating something similar to what I've been eating, except obviously I would take out the processed foods and the sodium and kind of get that down to a normal baseline, but then just keep eating that for the last four weeks and then that last week, continue eating that, drop the calories down just a little bit, and right before the show, probably about two hours before the show, have a big meal with a decent amount of carbs and protein and a good amount of sodium because that sodium is going to really help dense, make, make the muscles look dense and filled out. But like I said, it was just some light reading that I was doing while I was 
taking care of business in the morning. And uh, I would just want to know what you guys thought. You know, I want to hear what you guys' opinions and thoughts are on contest prep, what I should do for the last four weeks, what I should do for the last peak week, what I should do for all that. Because I think I'm going to go with Lane Norton's idea. Um, but I want to hear what you guys have to say because you guys are the best. You guys are why I'm doing the contest. You guys know that, right? I'm doing this contest for you, not for me. I just want you guys to have something interesting to watch and something to see me shooting for and, and going for as a goal, which is always fun and always motivating. That is it for this week. Thank you so much for joining me. Appreciate all the love and support. I appreciate you guys coming back every single week, every single day even, for those of you that watch daily. Um, and, and if you're not subscribed, please, 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 please. The channel is growing and I want you guys to be there with me while it grows, so please subscribe. If you haven't liked or commented, please like. I hope you guys like all the leg footage. I hope you guys like how my hair came out. I hope you guys like this weekly progress video. I'll see you tomorrow. Team Beyond the Week. Lift heavy or die, Myron.